Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Every time we bring them out, oh. Jim cannot stand himself. This is it. This I know. is my third favorite coin in the world. After 52 years of collecting, this is my third favorite for a number of reasons. It is the wedge tailed eagle directly from the Australian mint and one of my heroes in design work, who I've got the chance to meet and talk with, designed the coin. So we're gonna talk about that, but Morgan, I couldn't be more excited. And the reason for it is because we've got them in the highest grades known to exist. And I'm gonna tell you oh, this. Oh gosh, I just. I told you when I came back here. Yeah. I had 40 of them at the time. Right. That I would have somewhere between 50 right. to 60. Uh -huh. I own 52. And the reason I own 52 is because I have gifted three of them. Oh, and, okay, and, well there and you go. part of me wanted to do it. The other part of me was going like this. Oh, give me that, here you go. Here, you can have. <laughs> It's, it's absolutely a true statement. Yeah, I, I, I love it when he geeks out over these coins, by the way, guys. I mean, you know, you don't see him geek out very often. Oh, but, I'm so yeah. excited. All right, let's get started. Let's right. talk about it. You know, Check in um, 2014, I was actually part of a meeting, a group, large group meeting, that uh, John Mercanti, the eighth chief engraver of the United States Mint was part of and also Twelfth was... Twelfth chief engraver? Twelfth chief engraver. Yes, they, I'm thinking of George Morgan. I know, <laughs> you know I know. Okay. I knew it's what you were thinking about. Yes. I was like, yeah. So, John Mercanti, twelfth chief engraver, retired, and they showed up and they told us this story. And this was, uh, I'm going to say this was like eight to twelve months ago this happened. And the story goes as such, that the Perth Mint loved the silver and gold eagles done by the United States government so much that they decided they were going to try and figure out, now this was years ago, you know. They decided that in some way, shape, or form, they were gonna figure out some way to get themselves into their own eagle program. Because we've seen a lot of that, you know, from the Perth Mint. They feature a lot of their native fauna and some of their bullion and some of their collector's edition pieces. But never before have we seen anything like this. Exactly. Now, what they wanted to do was they wanted to feature their own eagle. We have the bald eagle, which has a wingspan of about six feet. The wedge-tailed eagle has a wingspan of over eight feet. It's absolutely huge. And if you look on the back tail, you'll see it looks like a wedge when it's yep. flying through the air. Yep. And it can go up to 2,000 feet and hover there the whole day without even having to flap its wings because of the heat and the winds and all of those good, beautiful, beautiful animals. Now, so what happened was they got in contact with our 12th chief engraver, John Mercanti, and talk to him about designing a coin. Now remember, never in history has there ever been a designer of US coins of any way, shape, or form ever gone in concert with another country to design a coin. And John Mercanti decided and was persuaded to not only take it on, but he contracted with them to design their coin. And what he did was make a masterpiece. And you are looking at the masterpiece. This coin will be minted every year under the authority of the Australian government at the Perth Mint. And I have to tell you something, those of you out there that are astute in the field of collecting, that have been collecting for a long time, know that that coin looks exactly like a reverse proof. A proof is a mirror finish on right. the field or the flat area, and a reverse proof is reverse. Right. The mirror finish is on the device, which is the eagle is the device. That's the main focal point of the coin. So what happened was they designed this coin, and I've told everyone that my favorite coins in general are reverse proofs because when you take an eagle such as an eagle and you flash it in the light, it looks like sparkling diamonds. Take a look what when yeah, Morgan's doing this. Now, you get a fellow by the name of John Mercanti, who will probably go down in history as the number one coin designer of all time, right. retired, and decides that he's going to help them with the design of the coin. Yeah, so, yeah, because we thought we'd never see another coin designed by John Mercanti. I mean, we've seen so many beautiful examples and done by the United States Mint. Um, surely. Over 100. Surely that was going to be the last one. That was it. Never see anything. Yeah. So what they do is he designs the coin. And I'm going to tell something on him because if he's watching, I'm just going to tell on him. When they minted the coin and they handed it to him to look at, it was told to me by several people that he cried when he saw the coin. 
because he had never seen it in silver before or gold. Mm -hmm. And can you imagine? The, the guy is just the nicest guy, gray beard, just a sweet man, and he's got a great sense of humor about him. And they said that he cried when he saw the coin. So what happened is they decide to do these one ounce silver coins in what would be looked at as a reverse type situation. But as you see the label on the PCGS holder, it says Mint State 69 condition. Now here's what I want you to take a look at. Morgan, if you wouldn't mind turning it over, please. This is where it gets to be really, really, really great. John Mercanti actually signed these coins. Now, here's the great part about it. It's not the fact that he signed the coins, because they minted a lot of them for the first year, but he only minted a few thousand of the coins for the entire world, and he only signed a few of them. So his signature is only on a few of the coins. And if you have another one, can we put it next to the one that we're showing? And the reason I want to do this is because uh, I want them to see the difference between signatures. This is not a stamp signature. This is an actual signature of John Mercanti. Let's talk about the price, and then I want to finish the story about this incredible okay. coin. First of all, this, this price is completely unheard of. On the Mint State 69, on the Mint State 69, guys, with the authentic John Mercanti signature, the certified piece, just forty nine ninety five. Isn't that unbelievable? <laughs> Forty nine ninety five. That's why I own fifty two of them. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I own fifty two. For those of you out there, forty nine ninety five is the price for the six nine. We have the seventy coming up. So just for those of you that want to know, you will be able to get both. We're going to have the sixty nine and the seventy available. But that is an actual signature by John Mercanti. Now think about this. They're going to do the Eagle Coin every single year, just like our Silver Eagle. But you know what's going to be the first year? It's not going to be 1986. It's going to be 2014. Going to be 2014 yeah, that's it. And there's only a couple thousand that are going to be signed by the fella that actually designed the coin. And remember, never in history has a coin designer ever coupled with another country to design a coin for them. And we're talking about what will end up being one of the top designers ever in history. And you can own the coin for $49.95. I'm just telling you guys out there, my collecting friends, I don't and can't afford every single coin that I get excited about because I get excited about a lot of coins and I get excited about them for a lot of reasons, but I can't afford them sometimes and sometimes I'd like to have them, but I've already bought some other coins and I'm just like you. I sit up with my feet up and I watch the coin vault show and I see other coins, but I gotta tell you something. For every single reason that I've told you, for mintage reasons, for the fact that John Mercanti signed the inside of the PCGS label, that he's the, gonna end up being the top designer in the world, the 12th chief engraver of the United States Mint, and another part of this, there is no other chief engraver. He's the last one, and he retired a few years ago. He may not be replaced by a chief engraver ever in history. Thirdly, you've got a coin that in my opinion is one of the top most beautiful coins that's ever been minted in history. Take a close look at it. Take a look at that beautiful wedge tail eagle done in beautiful mirror finish on the device of the coin with the frosted silver on the field and the fact that it says wedge tailed eagle and it's 2014 one ounce silver 999 pure silver and it's gone John Mercanti signature. What more could anyone ask for? This is the type of coin that I'm not only gonna suggest that I'm going to make a recommendation that you reach into your pocket and you grab your card and you say, you know what, I'm going to buy a half a roll of 10, I'm going to buy a roll of 20, I'm going to buy four, because some of you can do better than I. I can only buy so many at a time, but I'm at 52 and I'm just gonna tell you something, Morgan. <laughs> My goal is to own 100. I at least wanna own 100 of them. So I've got a little bit ways to go, but I'm going to own 100 coins certified by PCGS with John Mercanti's signature on them. And that's what's amazing to me. And I'm so amazed by it, and I'm so thankful to be able to share this with you this evening that I'm thinking that, in my opinion, one of the most exciting coins for price, for value, for collectability factor, for precious metal value, for mintage value, for beauty, for history, for relativity, because that wedge tail eagle really does look like our
bald eagle. Just wanted to give you guys a chance on to get those 70s as well because if you thought that price tag at $49.95 was phenomenal on the 69s, wait till you get a load of the 70s. Check this out, guys. Right now, for a perfect mid state 70 wedge tail eagle, you're looking at just $99.95. Now, I know I, Mr. Fisher, has bought quite a few of these. Because yes. I think back to another eagle coin that John Mercanti has designed for the United States Mint, the designer of the Silver American Eagle. Well, if you were to go back, and also that's, you know, three nines fine silver, one ounce of three nines fine silver, bearing new John Mercanti's reverse design on each one of those Silver American Eagle coins. And if you go back to that first year of issue, and keep in mind, they sold over five million of those Silver Eagles in that first year of issue. Our coin vault pricing right now, in a, just a 69, you can't touch it for 120 bucks. 120 bucks in a 69. Okay. In a 70, you're looking at almost $900. For, for what year? For the, for what not, year? Almost 900, for the first year of issue. I'm for a the first year eagle. of issue on a silver American Eagle, about 900 bucks. And I think we're sold out at that price, in fact. This, guys, is the first year of issue on a brand new Eagle series by John M. Mercanti. You know what, something, guys? I'm just going to tell you right now that our phone lines are getting loaded right now. They're getting loaded for good reason. If you go into your the back of your mind for just a moment and you say, why would I collect any coin at all? Some of you for history, some of you for beauty, some of you for precious metal content, some of you for story, and I'm not talking about history, I'm talking about story, some of you for collectability factor. There is nothing that these coins have that you would not want to have in your coin collection. It takes every box, Jim. And we're talking about price. Oh, yeah, and, and 50,000 mintage. 50,000 mintage on this. For the world. From my understanding, we didn't even know the mintage was going to be capped when this whole thing started. Right. It, it was, was it until later that I had learned the mintage was going to be capped. All right, divide that out uh, by a small percentage of John Mercanti's signature. Or divide that out. If other people are buying these coins like you, we'll see here. So, <laughs> I know. <laughs> that I is, know. That is not a lot to go around. No, I know. Uh, yeah, let's see here. If everybody's buying them like Jim, it's about 1,000 people that are going to be that's, in on that's this That's exactly coin. right. And i got to tell you something. For those of you out there, it, this <laughs> may be, this possible, it could be the last time you see yeah. these coins. And both of these feature that authentic signature by John Mercanti. You know, the other thing I really like about being able to offer signatures in some of these labels and some of these certified coins is how many collectors you know. Because I know, I know a lot of, you know, a collector is a collector is a collector. You collect a little bit of everything outside of coins. It's more sports memorabilia, movies, whatever. Yep. And you have those authentic signatures that you know is authentic. But how do you prove it? Because that's always the question people ask. They say, well, how do you prove it? Do you have documentation? Do you have certification? How do you really know it's authentic? Because there's a lot of fakes out there, guys. I'm just being honest with you, there are. But these, not only certified for the coins, but because you have that recognized name, that professional coin grading service, PCGS, you know that is an authentic, 100%, the real thing, a hand-signed, not a copy, not a facsimile, the hand signed thing, John M. Mercanti, the 12th chief engraver of the United States Mint. Your only consideration right now is the fact that you buy more than one. If you can just get one, we get that. I understand that. $49.95 or $99.95. But this is your chance right now to get the best of the best of the best at the best price you will find, in my consideration, a collectible coin in the entire world. The clock is up. You know what to do. You know how important this is. Get on the phone right now, 1-800-655-0528.